Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Azorius Control. That's right. Those of you who are fans of the channel know that I'm not necessarily a huge fan of Control decks. It's not my particular playstyle, so I am going a little outside my comfort zone with this one. But this one feels a little less controlly and a little bit more gimmicky with a particular creature that just gets really, really big, really, really fast. So that's kind of right in my wheelhouse. So let's go ahead and take a look at the deck. We are starting to see some tournament results finally. And this one did really well at the event. So let's take a look and see what we're dealing with here. So off the top, let's kind of get into the main win condition, which is the G Dream Trawler itself. It's 3-5 for 6, flying with lifelink, and whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus uh, 1, plus 0 until end of turn. That is the main catch right there. So the entire deck is built around drawing as many cards as you possibly can in a single turn to make this thing absurdly large, hitting somebody in the face with it and gaining an absurd amount of life. The rest of it is just stall tactics and occasionally a board wipe just in case something gets too out of hand. Um, whenever it attacks, you also draw a card and you can discard a card to gain Hexproof and tap it until end of turn. So everything else is built around that concept. So Omen of the Sea, for example, comes into play. It, uh, you enter a card, you draw a card, and then you scry. You scry two and you draw a card. You can sacrifice it to scry two. It's basically two mana, draw a card. Uh, Banish and Lang's out there just in case something gets a little bit out of hand. So there's only one in here. So it kind of, you know, it's that utility tool. If it comes up great, if not, okay. Uh, Narset's in there. Narset draws cards. Again, this is really based around... Um, the entire premise behind the deck. Thirst for meaning, same thing, draw three cards, then discard two, but you still get the three draw, and that still counts towards the trawler. Uh, Absorb, of course, is in there to ensure that, you know, any spell that you don't want to get into play can go and get countered. Teferi, or old friend, is in play, uh, bounces stuff back to people's hands, help you draw cards, helps make Dream Trawler bigger. Uh, Shadow of the Sky is in there, so you need to be careful with this one with um, Shadow of the Sky, because when you cast Dream Trawler, it is a 3-5, but you have your untap upkeep and then draw. It will already be a four or five. So if you cash out of this guy, you do have a chance of killing your own creatures, but this will help. Uh, wait, so each player who controls a creature with a power four or greater draws a card. That's us. Then destroy all other creatures. So, I mean, you are still going to kill the creatures, but this is your board wipe that you're going to be looking for. Elspeth, uh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Um, interesting saga that came from uh, Theros. Uh, exile target permanent opponent controls to convert a mana cost three or greater. Um, Non-creature spells your opponent cast cost two more until the next turn. And then return creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield, putting plus one, plus one counter or loyalty on it, which you're going to be fishing for the Dream Trawler, of course. We've already gone through that. You could go for Ter Teferi, too, if you wanted to. Uh, Thesis Intervention. This is a counter spell or helps you look at the top card X cards of your libraries. Draw two of them. Put the other half on the bottom. This is, again, more card draw. And then the mana base. Like, that's the whole deck. But I'm seeing this deck everywhere. So, mana base is relatively simple. Uh, two Castle Ardenvales, five planes, seven islands, four Hallowed Fountains, four Temples of Enlightenment, two Fabled Passages, and one I'm really looking forward to playing with, which is the Lab Labyrinth. Um, it taps for a, a, a um, colorless mana, but if you spend four you, and tap it, you can remove a target creature from combat. Uh, meaning, hey, you block with this creature. Cool, I don't want to lose my creature. I'm going to tap it so that it removes it from combat and I still go through. It's really kind of cool. So, let's go and get some games in with it shall we it is a competitive deck so let's go ahead and play directly in the competitive ranks we're gonna work i'm working currently on building up my uh, my rank i just hit gold while i was doing my dailies so let's go ahead and do azorius control if you like the video and like the content that i'm putting out think about giving a like and subscribe it would really help out the channel i do have a goal of a thousand uh, i'm getting super close every uh, every time a new set comes out my views and likes and subs come up i really appreciate that um, if you have an idea how you would improve the Azorius deck, drop a comment in the comments down below. Let me know. Okay, so this looks pretty straightforward. I think we'll keep it. Control decks tend to be a little bit slower. So we're just going to drop the tempo. What else do we need? Uh, that'll give us the four mana we need, sure. So let's drop the other one let's see what else we've got going fabled passage uh, i think we have all the mana we need to be uh, maybe no let's go ahead and pitch that Ooh, i was gonna say it looks like we might have a mirror match going on this should be interesting because narset was gonna be my next play there's his teferi we'll just do the exact same thing 
Control versus control. That should be fun. Hey, let, ooh, do we want to grab Teferi or do we want to grab Banishing Light? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's grab the Banishing Light, shall we? We've got enough Teferis floating around. So this should be an interesting game. Control on control. Ooh, there's his... Yeah. Ashiok. I assume Teferi's coming. He's going to bounce Narset. Thought Erasure. Interesting. Probably going to take the Dream Trawler would be my guess. That's not what I would have done. I was tapped down. He had a perfect opening to put Teferi down. Yeah, he's going to throw the Dream Trawler down. That's fine. Now it makes me wish I had taken Teferi, to be honest with you. Mm. Let's go ahead and see what she's got for us. <laughs> Another Narset would be fun. Let's go Elspeth, that's fine. And we'll hold. We do have that Absorbing Hand. He is aware that we have the Absorbing Hand. So my question is, is which one does he want more, Ashiok or Teferi? My suspicion is he's going to try to cash Ashiok now, knowing that he's going to lose it. Yep, he wants to get the counter out of my hand. That's fine. Uh, let's drop the Fabled Passage, tap it. Let's go and get an island. Get those out of the way. Interesting. Probably Banishing Light would be my guess. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that works too. Uh, which one do I want? Let's go get Planes. The upside is this thins the deck out. And shuffles it. So we're still sitting here. We're basically on a standoff here. Him bouncing Narset back to my hand would actually help me. Interesting. So we're going to Banishing Light, Ashiok. Grab that planes, toss that into our hand. We have not seen the other trawler. That's a little disappointing. That's fine. Because now we'll have a wall to go back. Unless he bounces it, which is fine. But I don't know why he would do that. Because I would... Yep, he's going to kill the Banishing Light. Which I'm just going to put back on. Hmm... Yeah, we're definitely not getting the card draws that we need. Come on. Oh, my goodness, just nothing but mana. Uh, we're going to drop that. Do our board wipe, draw a card, hopefully something nice. Nope, nothing. Cool. Oh, that's what you have about a power. That's what he was probably waiting on. Um, let's give him that and that. This is always such a weird gamble. Yep, so he took the two. Pitch the Thought Erasure. That's fine. Let's try this. So I have all the mana in the world. Um, no, neither one of those. I have all the men in the world. You missed what I just said. There we go. Hmm, do I want to board wipe again? Sure.
And I'll do that on his turn. Scry two more to see what's going on. We're getting none of the good stuff. None of the stuff that we need are we getting. Um, let's give him... Alright, so we screwed him up last time. Let's give him Thought Erasure on the other one. Let's see what he does. Yep. <laughs> it's such a weird gamble. I feel like we've done a whole bunch of stuff and done a whole bunch of nothing all at the same time. Um, sure. I like the absorb. We're just sitting here fighting each other. Why can't I counter that? Oh, that's right. I can't cast spells on his turn. That's why. Sure. Interesting, he burned his Teferi. I assume he has a new Teferi sitting in his hand. Come on. Once we get our trawler down, things will be a little bit different, but darned if we can... Like, we've filtered through over half our deck in scene one. Which got exiled, by the way. Or it just got... Yeah, he pitched it into the graveyard. Ashirk is so weird. He's so weird. Okay. Hmm. So weird. Yeah, we'll hold the counter. Uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Which you do not have. Still eating those two in the face, which is just painful. What else did he exile? Another Narset. Both my tef two Teferis. There we go. I don't know how much it's going to help me now. Yep. As I say, he's got the right. So we're going to call it quits here. Control deck on control deck is really exceedingly time consuming and boring so i'm just gonna quit on that and move forward and that juncture he definitely had like we just ended up with turn after turn after turn of like all draw cards but then not drawing anything to help us out that's a shame it is what it is he's definitely got the upper hand players with mythic orange has anyone ever seen one has anyone ever played on a uh, mythic orange uh player i've never seen one i've never seen one i know they were there Probably in the closed beta, maybe. But after that, I've not seen any, like, MTG employees actually playing and testing. Oh, interesting. Interesting. All right, this is a really slow start. So we definitely need some blue mana. So hopefully the Temple of Enlightenment will enlighten us to where blue mana is. Keep going back in that control game, that I, the game I just played back. I think I may have popped my... Uh, no, oh, perfect. Uh, Shadow of the Skies. Like, I ended up going through two of those. I may have gone through one. T oh, another control. <laughs> oh, goody. More control. Must maintain control. Yep, see? That's in my deck. Didn't get one. 
Got a whole bunch of elves best though. Um, yeah, since I have two Elspeth, I don't know that I need two Elspeth. Uh, we're gonna drop one of those. Perfect. We're gonna hold. Draw that. Draw that. Get those out of the way. Having the two zero four walls might be interesting. I assume this is getting killed. Okay. Get those counter spells out of his hand. That works for me. Temple of Enlightenment. I will drop my own Temple of Enlightenment. Thank you very much. Absolutely take that. Get his other counter spells out of his hands. Sure. That's all I'm really concerned with now is getting his counter spells out because I do not want him to counter my dream trawlers. So we're going to drop that. Hmm. Where to go? Where to go? I think I'm just going to hold. Yeah, I think on his turn I might start creating some little 1-1s one to actually start throwing some damage his way, but I think I'm going to hold for the time being. Sure, create a 1-1 one, one human, why not? Maybe they'll start getting annoying. So how much do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, I need one more mana to be able to get down... He probably won't let this happen. It's not a huge deal if I don't. Sure, get to counter spell. That's fine. <laughs> We're both just waiting. Sure, he can have that. It's all about which one of us gets done. Like, he's, I, I assume he thinks. Oh. Let's try it. How many counter spells can he have, right? All of them? Potentially all of them? Sure. Now, I want to hold on to that. Gonna be a game of patience here. Now we've both got both of ours, that's cool. How many more? Like honestly, how many more does he have? How many more counter spells does he have? Alright. Let's see Narsa get countered again, sure. Oh, she did not get countered. Let's pull that absorb into our hand, please. Thank you very much. Yes, I know. Teferi would have been nice, too, but... I already have what I need. I just need to get past the first initial counter spell.
Come on. You can do it. Again, why am I not able to cast spells on his turn? Yep. Let's go... Oh, because I don't have the blue. That's why. Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, that stinks. Hmm, <laughs> He's gonna counter. I'll get to fairy. Oh, we let it go. Cool. Nope. We're good. A land would be nice. Uh, let's take Shadow of that Sky. That works. I wonder why I'm getting paired up against all the control. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's why I never see a ton of control decks anymore. They keep us all in the same group. Um, that actually is fine. I mean, it does keep him from drawing cards. That's fine by me. So I'll just cast another Narset. <laughs> no, I'm good. I still need to keep three for absorb. Yeah, no, I'm good. We'll hold. At some point in time, someone's going on here. What I need is I need one more mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. I need one more mana to be able to like lay down a Teferi as a bait to get the trawler out. That's where the problem comes in. I have blue mana. Why am oh my goodness, why does it always tap that one blue mana? Ugh. Ugh. Good, I'm glad you do. Proof is not going to help. Nope. That's fine because I got another one. How many board wipes do you get? And then he'll kill my Teferi. Yeah. Cool. How many board wipes do we have? I think you might be. Elite Guard Mage, cool. That's where my Banishing Light will come into play. That I've been holding on to. What a ridiculous game. What a ridiculous game this is. Come on. Come on. So, let's see if he will allow that to happen. 
Looks like he's gonna. So we're gonna banish him, made the elite guard mage. We're gonna get our Nars set down. We're gonna go and kill Teferi. Draw a card. Ooh, add another trawler. Cool. Alright, we might be cooking with gas here. He does get to return to Fairy, which he's probably gonna bounce. This is why this is such a complicated game sometimes. There's so much going on here. My guess would be Teferi. Let's see? And then he'll pull Teferi back. He'll pull the uh, Trawler back to my hand. I don't know how much that helps him, actually. Oh, he'll pull the Guild Mage back. Interesting. Interesting. Now, he doesn't get the card draw because of Narset. That's interesting. My thought being, of course, that he believes he can get past. Sure. Okay, so we're tapped down, so we know we're going to do this. Uh, we know we're going to do this. Uh, let's keep that absorb in hand. Yeah, I don't need that. And let's go punch Teferi in the face. Oh, wait, he gets to do... It's like an endless loop, but let's just kill Teferi. So he's going to continue to do that. I th Again, this is such a weird game sometimes. But I've got a hand, I've got a fistful of cards here and he does not. That is an advantage to say the least. So what's he going for? Sure, that's fine. And we're banishing like that, which he does not have a counter to. Perfect. Draw more cards. Draw, not, draw into another. Um, I'm going to hold that for the counter spell. I know he doesn't have another counter sitting there, so uh, I'm risking... I was going to say, I am risking another Shadow of the Sky on his end, but I've got a counter for it. So, maybe we'll be okay? We shall see. Now we've got an absurd amount of life to chew through. So we are tapped down severely. Sure? Again, it's going to be Teferi. He's going to pick Banishing Light or one of my Trawlers. I assume the Banishing Light's what he's going to go for. I don't get that, though, because I'm literally just going to do it again. Don't I got it's probably the life gain that's all he's really concerned with in the card draw, of course. Again, why do I not have counter ability? Oh, because Teferi did his thing. That's fun. Yeah, you can draw all those cards. You've got, what, a devotion of three, four? Cool. All right. 
How do I want to do this? We are going to Banishing Light to Fairy, because that's annoying. Oh no. No, I want to be able to keep the absorbs on play. See where we go from there. He's going to take it. Cool. Let's scry, sure. And end turn. Sure. I think I've gotten through all... Uh, I'm so sorry this one's taking so long. Uh, I think I've gotten through... So we've gotten the Elspeth and the Teferi combo out. And now we're kind of down to what's left. I've got enough blue out there. I can do at least two absorbs. And I'm sitting on both. So anything he casts that I don't like, I'm not going to let go through. Like his Dream Trawler, for example. Absolutely not. Sure. That's an interesting choice, because now he's like just out of frustration. <laughs> That's like straight, straight out of frustration right there. Um, I'll pay the two life. I have it. Uh, give me that. I don't need the mana. Cool. Do I cast it now? No, I'm waiting on his Shatter of the Skies. Like, I'm really concerned that he's going to be doing that. Alright, down to nine. We're at 67. Um, you can have the Temple of Enlightenment. I don't need it. And that's what we were prepared for? Absolutely not. And that's what we were prepared for? Absolutely not. So unless he's got another one, which I do have a backup plan. Yes! <laughs> and this is why Control is such a crazy, crazy format. So that one took a really long time so you're only gonna get two games with it so you got one person that beat me and that was control on control so i do hope you enjoy the video like subscribe always let me know what uh you prefer as far as deck constructions if you've got an idea let me know in the comments down below i really appreciate it so until next video guys we shall see you in the arena this video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons if you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.